YouTube, man. It's your boy Drake back with another banger, man, today. You see from the title, this is three ways that you are being tested, right? So this, these are ways you're being tested. This is three ways your faith is being tested. Your humanity is being tested, bro. Like your, your, your mind is being tested. Your actions are being tested. You overall are being tested. Before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. We're growing every day, bro. I'm almost to 1,500 subscribers. Insane growth, bro. But let's keep going because I'm going to continue to push this content out for y'all because I got valuable information and I know y'all want to see and want to learn more about God. So let's get into it. Number one, the number one way, or actually this is bullet point number one. Bullet point number one of a way that your, te that your faith is tested. Your faith is tested through what you love to do, right? So you have a goal to be a professional athlete, right? You go through it, you're training, you're working hard, and you're doing what you're supposed to do, right? Going to practice, getting up extra shots or extra reps of any like of anything. Next thing you know, you get hurt, right? You get a, a significant injury that derails you and keeps you out for months, maybe to even a year. You're looking at yourself and, and you're deep down in that slump of your depression. Like, man, like, where do I go from here? Like, should I just stop playing? Is it over? Like, is there any point of getting surgery and just moving on? But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get to that point to where you're like, bro, I gotta keep pushing. I gotta work. I gotta grind. I gotta get my way back because the devil, bro, wants you to quit, wants you to be depressed, wants you to be in that place of, of anxiety and depression and loneliness. That's where, that's where he wants you. So whenever you get into that type of instance, so say that happens to you, get hurt, how are you going to respond? How are you, are you, are you going to let the devil win? Are you going to let God intercede and allow him to work through you? See, I've seen it with many professional athletes, bro. Like they get hurt or get a, even a little type of injury that derails them, bro. It derails their confidence. It derails just their game and it derails their mindset. If you, if you strengthen this, then nothing can stop you. Um, another one, another thing that's tested, um, your relationships are tested on a daily basis. Relationships are going to be tested by not only outside influences, but internal influences, whether that's family members, uh, or family, like say you're in a relationship, whether it's like family members, it's other friends, it's other, um, entities, work, job or uh, work um other priorities bro you got it you got to kind of you got to find a way to balance it all but you got to find a way to pick who's right for you and who's wrong for you your faith's going to be tested every single relationship you have is going to be tested every single relationship isn't going to last every single thing isn't going to work out but you got to find that you got to find something that does work out so the way you combat um your faith being tested in your relationship it's talking to people. It's talking to the person about, you know, y'all's relationship or whatever. Y'all talk about it and you come to a conclusion and you, you make boundaries, you create boundaries, and then it's easier. So regardless of what happens, y'all will make up. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But regardless, y'all are going to make up. Uh, number three, a third way that your faith is tested. Um... This is probably the most important one. It's tested on our daily walks with Christ. It's tested like in everyday life, like especially we're, we're, we're all seeking that spiritual growth, that spiritual mindset, that spiritual growth mindset, right? We're all seeking a closer relationship with God, especially if you're a Christian believer. I can't speak for everybody else, but I can speak for the people who, um, who are Christian believers or who want to learn about God that you're seeking that growth. And so the devil's going to throw you a bunch of curveballs every single day, every single moment, every single second, bro. You got to be ready. You got to be studying. You got to be strong. You got to stand firm. You can't get knocked down. You, but, you, but you know what? You know, you know what? You, you're going to get knocked down, bro. You're going to get knocked down. You're going to get punched, bro. You're like a punching bag. You're going to get hit, but are you going to throw the punch back? How are you going to fight back? How are you going to stand your ground? Are you going to... It's like Mike Tyson, how Mike Tyson used to just knock everybody out. 
Mike Tyson used to just knock everybody out every single time, almost. Are you gonna are you gonna let Mike Tyson just knock you down and you're gonna just stay down and just be done? Or are you gonna get back up? You get to make that decision. You get to make that decision. Because if you don't and you're stuck on that ground, then you're just gonna be you're gonna die on the ground. There's not gonna be anybody to pull you up either. God's the only one that can really help you get pulled back up. And if you're not strong with God, then he he most likely won't be there. So, but if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. We do this. I try to post every day, but school and stuff is going to start picking up. So, yeah. But if y'all enjoyed this video, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, peace.